Rally Greece Off-Road got underway on the 4th of June in the picturesque city of Argos Oresticon and hosted more than 50 crews from seven countries. My name is Sergio Galletti, I come from Italy, my team is our team. My car is uh, this Hilux uh, Overdrive, the dress code is uh, Total Black. <laughs> Uh, first time here uh, in Greece. Landscapes are uh, simply amazing. Uh, I know this, uh, this race is uh, very long uh, because uh, in Italy our special stages are uh, a little bit shorter. And uh, it's not a, ga a, um, a race for uh, full gas immediately, but uh, we will become 60-70% uh, uh, also because Giulia, that is a great co-driver, is uh, the first time uh, uh, in, the, in my right uh, seat and uh, we need to become uh, better and better and better and better. So we need to know each other and uh, ready to, to make a good race. The main concern, as for every organiser, is the safety of the competitors. Therefore, all special stages of this rally are conducted in roads closed off to other traffic. This means that the competitors are safe from public vehicles and can truly marvel in the majestic landscapes of northern Greece. In the special stages, the track amassed a whopping 463 kilometers across all kinds of terrain, both uphill and downhill. Testing the patience and skills of all the drivers who had to manage their endurance and the car's preparation. The first leg introduced the first 150 kilometers of special stages across the entire day. After testing the waters, the crews were ready to push the limit and see what they and their cars were capable of. Uh, first special stage for 70 kilometers, very rocky and twisty mountain roads, very rough on the cars actually. Uh, so the cars came back, uh, everybody having a bit of a problem. Uh, for us right now, I think we're somewhere around 10th overall and uh, first in our class. Uh, I don't know how the car is going to go from now on, but uh, hopefully our team is going to be able to, to make it work perfectly again and move forward. Well, actually the, the key is to try to find the, the sweet spot between fast and safe. Um, try to go fast where you can, uh, where you can see that, the, that the, the road is good and try to keep the car because it's a long rally. I mean, it's just 70 kilometers and it's just the first special stage out of four, uh, actually six very long special stages. So there is tomorrow, there's a day after tomorrow. So at the end of the day, it's finding the sweet spot between speed and keeping the car safe. The second day was by far the longest, totaling 230 kilometers in special stages. Everyone was excited to give their all. Long stages require careful planning and management of the resources available, otherwise the crews risk losing valuable time in repairs. From the beginning of the day we ran and now we are uh, three uh, T1 and three overall by car. Uh, first of all, I don't know if there is any different driving with different condition because it's different condition to all. So the only problem is the dust. I reached the SSV but I couldn't pass them because it was a lot of dust and even you have a control that you can ask for someone to give you to take off but it's impossible to pass. So we keep going as we could and we are happy because you know it's uh, all the atmosphere here and all the competitors, everything is so nice, so even not to finish first, just to finish, it's part of the game. The 
The last day of the event saw the crews travelling 110 kilometres in special stages. The exhaustion really took a toll on the drivers. However, everyone pressed on, doing everything to make it to the finish line. The event concluded with a prize-giving ceremony, with everyone admiring each other's efforts. It was a strong experience because uh, the track was uh, fast and difficult. We had a lot of fun, for sure. And uh, today the only goal was to be able to bring the car to the finish, trying to avoid any kind of uh, issue on the car, so we, did, we didn't uh, drive uh, so fast. It was uh, really, really good to to complete this strategy and uh, everything was perfect. We, have, uh, we had uh, any problems with the gearbox and uh, we made about 50 kilometers with the third gear. And, uh, but it's good, everything is good. We are really happy, the team was perfect, the cast was, uh, was perfect, she was perfect and I'm really happy about uh, this experience in Greece. After three racing days and more than 450 kilometers in special stages and 700 kilometers overall, the eighth Rally Greece off-road came to a close. Despite its short duration, the rally covered hundreds of kilometers and a plethora of terrains. Mud, dirt and dust were plentiful but the smiles on the faces of the crews on the last day was its own reward. Everyone is excited for next year's edition and hoping it will be even better.